This is a wiring of a DC motor and control for it through an Arduino. The Arduino is not powering the DC motor, it's just controlling it. So I'm not going to get too much into the wiring because I can't say I fully understand it. Um, but what we have is a 9 volt battery to supply the power for the motor. And the motor has to be hooked up in parallel with a capacitor and um, a diode. The capacitor is supposed to regulate electrical noise of the motor and the diode basically prevents the motor from creating its own current and sending it back to the battery in reverse direction. Uh, so the diode is directional, it has to be wired up so that current cannot flow back into the positive of the battery. Um, the battery also has to share common ground with the Arduino, I'm not sure why. Um, the Arduino acts as a switch to turn the power on and off for the motor through the use of a uh, transistor, which is the black thing there. Um, the transistors, in this case, this type of transistor at least, uh, whenever the 5 volts is applied to it from the Arduino, it lets the circuit be complete for the battery to the motor. And using pulse width modulation, we can turn the transistor on and off rapidly, and that will simulate lower and higher amounts of power to the motor. Um, we can also use a delay with the pulse width modulation, so wait 10 milliseconds between every um, amount of power that's being sent, and we can do that because the motor will maintain momentum between those, so it'll keep going. Um, this is the code. So the code's pretty simple. Um, actually, before we get into that, this is the wiring diagram for the circuit. So you can see the capacitor and the diode are in parallel with the motor. Um, and then we have the transistor acting as a switch. And there's also a resistor attached before the transistor, um, and that's going to pin 9 on the Arduino. OK, so we have a, and for the pin number on the Arduino as usual, um, it's set to output. I created a function that will basically control the analog right along with the delay of 10 milliseconds. And in the loop, we just have a ramp up, wait two seconds, and a ramp down, wait two seconds. That'll repeat. So I'm going to turn this on. And you'll probably not be able to see the ramp up in speed it's too fast, but you'll hear it. The higher pitch is going faster. Two second wait. Uh, you don't hear the weight at the top, um, and I think that's just because of the momentum. It's in the code. It should be waiting for two seconds at the top whenever it gets to max speed. Alright, that's it.